that is going to greatly touch your life. I believe it's going to give you revelation to break out of anything that's containing you. I want to say, please, if you would, right out of the gate here, please repost this, share this everywhere you can. We have people joining from all over, and this is very important uh, that we get into this today. I, I want to say a huge thank you to the partners and friends of this broadcast. If you're a partner and you've been with us since the beginning, thank you so much. If you want to become a partner uh, right now, maybe you've recently become a partner, but if you want to become a partner, thank you for that. You do it by going to josephz.com. If you partner today, and I mean right today, you're going to begin to hear from us regularly, and we're going to be standing with you for victory, breakthrough, everything you're believing God for. And you do that, you become part of our partner family by going to josephz.com, or you text the keyword GIVE to 719-259-0029. Uh, the partners in this ministry, you're not a priority, you're the priority. And having said that, if you're a viewer here, we love you. We're here for you. But I just got to tell you, the partners provide so many things like our text to join, which is a very costly service we provide. Our partners make that available to you at no charge. It's absolutely free. We're able to give away free content, especially to new converts and born again people that give their life to Jesus. Our partners make it so we can give hours of free teaching away. Our partners are opening up the doors. We traveled places without charging anybody or any honorariums when we go. Uh, we never charge for stay, for travel, for anything because of our partners. And not to mention all that we're doing with the studio and the set and, and everything. Just so grateful to all of you. If you're a partner here, you mean the world to us. If you're a viewer, we love you very much. Praise God. Now let's get into this today. A lot to get into. It's going to be important that we begin to hear what the Lord is saying, what the Spirit is saying through this moment. And uh, right on the front side of this, I want to welcome, of course, uh, Allison Joy. She's with me, our daughter, Allison. Hey, honey. Hello. Good to have you with us. Good to be here. You know, I've been working through a lot. Just a few days ago, a couple days ago, actually, I was up on Pike's Peak on America's Mountain, getting a prophetic word of the Lord. And one of the words I have right now is this word, and I'm, I'm going to go to the board. I'm going to try to write it out in a moment. But I sense the Lord is bringing moments of victory to people in the middle of moments of collision. There is a great cloud over the nation right now. There's a cloud over many nations, and it's dramatic. It's brooding. There's something that's trying to manifest. And I just think we need to uh, begin to respond in faith. So, you know, God called our family to Colorado, to America's Mountain. He did. Um, symbolically, it's not necessarily just because it's America's mountain or we don't live on America's mountain, right. but we're near it. Yeah. And I, I believe God's called us there. So I go up there and pray sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I did that again over this past weekend. And as I was doing that, I began to have this sense of a brooding cloud, but the Lord is raising up people that will speak to the mountain, speak to the rock, begin to command things that are coming against us to cease, desist, and be pushed back. Thank it's Jesus. powerful. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yep. I, I can't wait to hear what you have to say, and I think our viewers will greatly enjoy what you have to say, and yeah. it's always full of life. Well, I'm, I'm enjoying the things that God is speaking to you these days, too. Like, yeah. you're having revelatory moments, uh, visions, dreams, all that. We've been talking about a lot of stuff, and you you really are in a place where God is moving through you, and it's important. And so I'm wanting to also foster that for our audience, because as you begin to share things, sometimes when you're younger and you're praying and you're seeking the Lord, the gifting is so much more potent. It's so clear. It's so revelatory. So there's been a lot of things that you've come and told me over the years that right before something happened, you've had dreams, visions, you see. And that's partly why I have you on the broadcast, because you really do see stuff. And so we'll just keep walking, you know, and as God shows you things, we'll walk it up because your gifting works a lot like mine, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, it is kind of interesting. I'm curious to see how this unfolds and the way we do things. I greatly enjoy doing this with you. Oh, it's awesome. It's always fun. Well, you're great. Thanks. You're the best. It's, uh, it's a delight for your mom and I, a real delight for your mom and I that you're a part of this and we're going together. So, okay. I want to get into this word. I have a strong understanding about this. I saw something. I'm going to try to navigate it. You know, when I see things, I don't try to just land and say, thus saith the Lord, this is what's happening. I do sense some things. Now, if I have a vision of a thing, mm -hmm. many times it can be pretty close to thus saith the Lord for me mm -hmm. because of a track record with it. But 
I, I had an intuitive vision earlier today as I was praying on the way to the studio, getting ready. Uh, you know, I get up early in the morning and I seek the Lord. And I had something come to me and I've been praying about it and I'm praying about it some more. And it's kind of a powerful deal. I um, Interesting. I'm going to go to the board. Go I'm going to try to do this. Is that okay? Do it. Please pray for me. When I go to the board, I know we're here today. I you know, We call it the vision board, you know, kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> but I just want to say, and before I do that, I, I got to mention this. My, uh, It's important for all of you. We have this new book called Demystifying the Prophetic. Mm -hmm. You can get it today, right now for pre-order at josephz.com. And I really want to encourage you to get this. You don't want to miss this book. You can get it at uh, a reduced price right now at josephz.com. And uh, as soon as the shipments come in, we will send them directly to the pre-orders uh, before the release date, which is in June. So we're believing God for that. Um, this is a magnificent book. You need it. You need it for the times that we're living in. It talks about deja vu, how to deal with uh, real and false prophets, what the Word of God has to say about everything, the church, government, marketplace, how to discern the signs of the times. Um, it, it's amazing. It, it, there's so much in here. I talk about unique phenomenon, encounters that are highly subjective, uh, angels of light, doctrines of demons. I get into the mirror of the Word of God and uh, just a, a, a variety of things. The four different types of flow, Ezekiel's interdimensional wheel, so many things that we get into will benefit you. Now, here's the added thing I haven't told everybody about yet. We also have a study manual. To, that's coming out as well with this. Now, here's the unique thing. We not only have demystifying the prophetic, the book, but we will also have the study manual to go alongside of it. And it is a manual. It will take you through this thing. Now, you can get both of them separately for pre-order today at josephz.com. Separately, you can get this one alone, or you can get both separately, but together at josephz.com for pre-order starting right now. You can go there, and I encourage you to do it. It's a reduced uh, price, and I think it'll greatly benefit you uh, to get that special price on everything before the actual launch date when the price uh, will be different. So I'm, I, I encourage you to do it. I know it's going to bless you, and I know that we put a lot of heart and soul into that study manual, so it's going to really bless you. Now, let me get back into this word here. This is important. I saw something. And it's interesting. So I'm going to just try to write what I saw. I saw a word. I saw a couple words. I'm going to write one word here in a moment. Let me go to the board. Now, every time I come to this, there's a prophetic flow. And I was recently having a great conversation with Mario Murillo. And he is just, um, you know, powerful in the spirit. Uh, there's things that he begins to share. And I, I really pay attention when senior veteran leaders start speaking. Um, let me go into this because I, I know something is happening in the realm of the spirit. And he was, you know, Mario was sharing some things with me about, you know, our prayer life needs to go up and begin to talk about that at a very high level. And I believe that that is a vital thing right now. Yeah. Um, that we need to be praying more than we're preaching, praying more than we're, you know, uh, just doing all the other things. So I really have been upping my prayer game. Even to the point that I was up on Pike's Peak interceding over America. America! No, that, that's interesting and awesome because I, I felt like Laura was speaking to me specifically about um, the secret place. Oh, wow. Come on. And how people need to be spending more time. So you saying that, it, I completely resonate with that. That is Absolutely. That, that it, I, think, I think that's awesome. The secret place. Yeah. The, the, defi what do you mean by the secret place, just for people who are watching? Um, going into a place where you're by yourself. It's just you and Jesus, you and the Lord. You're praying and you're interceding and you're, you're getting in the word. You're getting into a place of you and Jesus and just spending time with him, getting in a place of being face-to-face -face with, with him. And so I, when we were younger, we used to always call it the secret place. Yeah. And I find that interesting. The secret place is you being away with the Lord. Is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah, because, well, actually, I, I found I found the scripture on it, and um, um, I can pull it up here in a little bit, but um, how the Lord is speaking to me about know me, oh, but find me in the secret place. Find well, you, you think about that. I'm going to come, I'm going to draw this here because this it. is important. I, I've been seeing something, and here's here's the word of the Lord that I'm I'm seeing right now. There is a... There is something that, man, when I'm looking at my word, my Bible here as well, 
Well, I'm going to just share this. Here's the word of the Lord. I began to see over the United States. I saw the word Okay, national endurance. We began to see that. I believe we're going into a time of national endurance. I think there'll be a lot of exposing, a lot of challenges. Let me let me draw a couple of things I've drawn, and then I want to go beyond it here. Um, we know that I've drawn this several times, but this is that, you know, I saw the nation going down at 30, 60, 100. Um, I saw dark, saw all these things happening. Uh, this being the USA specifically, I saw this storm cloud. You've seen me draw this before. Um, the Lord said, run to the storm, don't run from it. Um, I believe that there is a hidden place in this storm at the base of it right here. Now, I believe we are on the cusp of this right now. I believe we're on the cusp of running straight into this, okay? I believe we're about to run into this, but then there's going to be a revival in the middle, Okay, a revival of nations, a revival of people, but it is going to be at a great cost. There's there's a lot of things happening. Then we see a breakout that happens at the other side of this that I know will be tremendous. That's reformation. I keep seeing the words, the new America. And, and the reason I brought up Mario um, is because he said something that the Lord has decided. The Lord has decided to rescue America. But that being said, when I heard that, it shot through my spirit again. The Lord wants to rescue America. Mom. And I believe there's going to be a rescue that happens, but it's going to be at great cost. You have the word new America, but it's going to be at cost. There's going to be a cost to this, a great cost, but it'll come back at 30, 60, 100. Okay. That's what I'm seeing there. But this national endurance, I don't know why I saw this word. So I'm just going to write this word on the board. It's a strange thing to write, but I've seen it twice now. So much like the airlines, much like this. Now, this may have a tie into things. What I'm about to share, it may mean a lot more, but I saw this um, in this, this time frame we're in. I'll just write it here. I see a now word about this. You're going to see this, and I don't understand, but I don't know if this involves a political person. I don't know if this involves a a company. I don't know if this involves a vehicle in a specific scenario. I don't know exactly what this means, but there's something to do with the Volkswagen. Interesting. I saw that. I don't know what that's about. Um, I don't know if this has to do with a person, a company, I don't know if this has to do with um, proximity. Um, but there's something about an event or a situation. And you'll find that either what they were driving, what was going on, a bigger picture than that involves this. If you look close, it'll involve this brand or this setting or something relating to that. Um, I'll come back to that if more comes to me, but I saw this word. I saw it. So I don't even know if I'm spelling it right, but this is what I know. I, I know that that's the deal. So when I'm looking at these things, I begin to recognize there's a lot happening in the world and we see it. Now, you've also noticed that I've, I've been drawing things about the whole year um, during this time here. I believe that we're going to really begin to see um, massive things beginning to happen both behind the veil and publicly. I think there's going to be exposure The month of May has really been on my grid since the beginning of the year. Um, May all the way through, obviously, November. But May itself, there's going to be this narrative where things start to come out. And I think it may, sometimes these things happen behind the veil, and then they expose themselves later. But I do believe May is a very pivotal, uh, monumental month. There's going to be decisions and so much is going on. This is going to be tech decisions. There's going to be, um, my goodness, um, oil platforms. There's going to be so much that happens around this. More and more airline issues. 
and other industries of the same. Uh, the C will still yet have a lot to play into this. And there's just so much that's going on in this setting. And I believe that this is going to get more and more wild. You know, I, I keep talking about uh, X, right? That's not only the eclipse, all that, but then you see, uh, you know, our South African guy, Mr. Elon. And I gave this word about him being involved or having a great voice into the political arena. And that's a word that we just keep sharing. So we'll see where this unfolds. But this is going to be something we've got to pray about. I believe we're getting into this now. Interestingly enough, during this time, we're going to be doing a lot all the way up to this month or into this month with Noah's Ark. Now, again, we're going here. Why? Because it's the days of Noah word. That's what Jesus called the last days. I believe very firmly this is a reason that God's calling us into this is because there's a word of the Lord in this that I'm going there as a prophetic sign. So with all that's going on and then this eclipse narrative that's taking place, there's a lot happening. Now let me let me draw a little more uh, for, for the purpose of clarity here today. And I think this will be very important. Let me, let me see what I can do here. Um, let's just say... Let's just say that this represents where we are now as a, as the earth and all that. I began to see something that the Lord, I believe, is saying is both going to be cataclysmic, challenging, and yet there's going to be, uh, how can I say, um, like shielded events or there will be difficulty that breaks loose, but then there's going to be also be these responses by the Lord through prayer, things that stop some of the events I began to see, and I'm going to try to navigate out and sort of draw out what I saw here. I began to see the the world as it is. I began to see all these things happening um, on the, the world, so to speak. I started to see mountains, and these mountains represented, um, you know, um, I guess they represented nations, you know, these just mountains, different mountains around the the earth, mountains that I began to see, you know, just in different locations, right? So I saw this, and these represent mountains. And as I'm looking at this, I started to see that there was um, challenges and difficulty happening between nations. I started to see, you know, if this represents across the earth, I started to see nation uh, engaging nation. I started to see uh, nations from the other side of the earth engaging nations. Um, I started to see all this stuff where it was just really challenging and, and yet there was going to be, um, I don't know, just this, this difficulty that was happening in this international level. And these represented mountains around the earth, uh, some smaller, you know, some, you know, monumental in size, some were just here, but I began to see different communications, uh, between these nations and the, the represented by mountains. Um, in this same narrative, I began to see what would be, um, gosh, like events coming at the earth during this as well. I began to see these events coming at the earth. Let's say that represents like a storm uh, coming towards it, like a windstorm. Uh, then I began to see, um, you know, moments where fire would try to come against nations and devour things. And I thought, my goodness, what what's going to happen here? And I began to see... Um, just cyclone type events, you know, just, just taking place towards all this. And then in this, the spirit of the Lord is saying, as my people are praying, there's going to be this blood bought responses uh, by the Lord God almighty from these locations that would begin to intervene and like stop some of this, this mess that's trying to explode at the, the scene. And so I'm seeing this right now. It's like Matthew 24 wars and rumors of wars difficulty, but I saw the spirit of the Lord responding as we were praying to some of the, the violent activity and difficulty that's taking place in the earth right now. And it's trying to get at everything and hit it. And then right in the middle of it all, in the middle of all of it, here we see that there's this, this um, eclipse narrative. Okay. So we see this pathway of this eclipse. And I heard the words after the eclipse. 
okay, after the eclipse. It's like it's there's something going on that's that's going to bring an after effect of the eclipse. So much of what we're seeing here, I believe, will be into the month of, as we said, May, right? I believe this has to do with here, but really there's an after effect where a lot of this, this stuff is going to begin to manifest. Um, you see that happening with, of course, I'll just write this stuff in code. I think we're going to see an exposure and ties and even bribery too. Okay, you're going to see some of that. You're going to see more of the, the Fang Fang narrative, right? <laughs> and you're going to see that. So you got Red Dragon, that happening. You're going to see more of the corruption that comes to the forefront. Then you're going to see change that tries to manifest, but they might be stuck with what they've done. But you got to remember, even when they're like, boy, it's, you know, we don't like how, uh, you know, the Manchurians running things. It's pure political theater. Okay, if we really think that Manchurian's running things, you got to wake up. Okay, he's not run, he's not running the show. It's pure theater with much of this, and that's what we're seeing here um, in all that we're looking at. Now, I heard these words. I heard the words "national endurance." What does that mean? I believe if we endure, you know, like the word says here, sorrow may last for the night. But I do believe through this, joy, joy will come in the morning. And what does that mean? It means if we can hang on through this storm, there's going to be a right-sizing effect that begins to happen here. And this right-sizing effect is going to take place, and we're going to see like a national endurance. And this is for the righteous, okay? The righteous. We'll draw that in red for the blood, but I see righteous. Okay, righteousness. Righteousness exalts a nation. And we've got to endure to begin to see righteousness be established again. But righteousness exalts a nation. Sin is a reproach to any people, Proverbs says. But I believe there's going to be this endurance and there's going to be victory. Okay, but the victory is going to be at great cost. Now, do I think the former guy is going to get back in? I got to tell you, there's a lot on the table that would say yes and no. There's a lot. And we got to pray. We got to act. We're going to do corresponding faith. I think we need a miracle to see that happen. But I do believe God is going to release a miracle. And even though it looks like, you know, we're winning, there's momentum, there's a lot of shaking up even going in uh, some of our main uh, areas of leadership and house and all that. And it's, it's serious. Even the speaker, there's issues going on there right now that we've got to begin to recognize is not how we had hoped it would go. There's, there's some plans and nefarious activity going on there. So we got a lot to get into that I think is going to be very important. And we got to pray. We really do. You need to pray. And this is something I want to talk to everybody about is that I do see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I really do see another day. Let me, I'll draw that in green for hope, right? I do see for the nation, for the nations, another day. What do I mean by another day? I mean one more round. Now, it's going to be challenging, but I got to tell you, it's it's also going to be another day. There's there's another time coming uh, where we we will see some pushback. We'll be able to see some victories, but this is going to be a turbulent collision after collision after collision. And again, if I were to draw this now, changing this paradigm even though this is, you know, it's not true to scale here. If I were to draw the year one more time like this, if you remember, I drew the year, this being, you know, the beginning of the year, this is the middle of the year. This is, you know, by quarters, uh, quarter one, two, three, and four. I believe the spirit of the Lord is truly saying that they're going to talk about the money, the money, the money, the money all the way around. And I see more about the money happening. Maybe if we were to go all the way around this year, and into another year, like it's going to be a big topic then, okay? And now it's going to be that. But I, I have seen where it was this year, but then a year and a half out that we'd start to see um, 
like a right sizing, like a challenge. We're kind of going to going to know where the future is. So if we don't win this round, and I'm believing we will in Jesus' name, but if we don't, and we don't, and you, you got to prepare your heart for every outcome. You really do. But if we don't, I'm going to still be here, and we are still going to contend no matter what. Because you know what? Even if we don't, the church is here, Jesus is here, and it just means he's coming sooner. But at the, the end of the day, the bottom line is this, that it may be the last days for the way we've known this nation, uh, with, with depending on how this goes. If we don't win, and I'm talking sweep, uh, clean up, we're going to have some challenging days to really come to grips with in the coming two years. But if we do win, it's going to be a right-sizing and a challenging season like we've not quite experienced ever before in the history of this land. And I believe God is with us in a great capacity. Now, let me come back over here and talk right to you. In the middle of the edge. We've been right up. The things I'm saying to you are very monumental. There, there's important things. And I'm I'm working through a process, you know, and people say, my goodness, you know, you draw all kinds of stuff on the board. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm working through a process because I've been praying. And I believe the Lord is going to bring some, some circumstances of victory, but it's also a national endurance for the next season. We got to go through for the next season. And this is why what we're doing is so vital. You know, we're going to, and I keep bringing this up, but we're going on the trip to Noah's Ark right in the middle, right after this eclipse. We're yeah. going to be, you know, over there and doing things and it's coming. And we won't be at Noah's Ark for a while, probably, you know, several weeks out, but we have things we're doing and on assignment. I believe there's a prophetic now word that we are to rise up and rise and shine and bring a clarity in the middle of haziness. You know, we say this often, the native tongue of the uninspired is criticism, mm -hmm. but the native tongue of God is clarity. Yeah. So do you have any thoughts about this prophetic stuff I'm saying about the travel, the ark? Yeah, I, I think I think there is a lot happening, and I think God's with us. I, I think that, I, that's something I always love, that is you, you deliver information, but then sure. you always bring it back to Jesus. We have to bring it back to Jesus. Always bring it back to have Jesus. Have to. And and yeah, I I I think the money thing is interesting. I think the mountains that's that is also very interesting. Is it about it being the possibly mountains. nations? Possibly, it could, it could be. I don't know if it's leaders. I don't I don't know, but I think that's. But um, uh -huh. something you also said too about. Um, spring. Springtime. Yeah. Well, I, I just got to say, and let me look right back at you. There, there is, there's a lot going on in spring, but there really is uh, like a cloud, a heaviness in the air right now. So I just want to pray in Jesus name, what's happening in the air, th this pressure in the atmosphere, the heavens are charged. What's happening in the atmosphere right now in the name of Jesus, we begin to take authority over this. We begin to say over this nation, we hold up the cross of Jesus Christ right. and we say, we demand darkness to get off our land. Lord, we need you. Yes. We need you. The people of God that are watching this broadcast, we need you. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm asking you guys to pray for me right now because we're on this assignment and I'm, man, I'm going on an assignment. It is a prophetic act in my generation. I'm doing a prophetic act in my generation to do something as a prophetic voice to stand up. So Lord, I call on your name for the nations. I call on your name right now for the former leader, for all the people that are involved, for all the nefarious voices. I pray exposure would come. I pray that a pulling back of the veil would come. I yes. pray, Lord, that we would begin to see those that have been on the bribery side of things, that have been having nations finance them to destruct their own legacy and their own heritage. In the name of Jesus, Thank I pray Jesus. for clarity and strength in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's a time to be at peace and work through it. And there's a time to realize you're at battle, you're at war. And this is a, a warfare class, a battle class, uh, believing red church right now that God's calling us to be a part of. And the red church, again, represents the blood of the lamb. It's not talking about some affiliation. I'm talking about the blood, the mobilized heart of God, the blood of the lamb, Revelation 12, 11. They overcame the evil one by the blood of the lamb, the word of their testimony, and loved not their lives even unto the demise. And I got to tell you, the spirit of the Lord 
is raising many of you up right now. As a matter of fact, I believe that God is saying right now, there's somebody you've been really struggling over a son, over your son. You've been almost obsessing over your son. Like, what am I going to do? How do I work this out? And the Lord is saying, I have them in my hand and it shall be well in the name of Jesus. Jesus. He's taking care of you. I see provision coming for many of you. I see strength coming for many of you. And the Lord is making a way where there's been no way. I just got to tell you, Mm -hmm. I am, Allie, I am so stirred up over what God's doing in this broadcast for many people watching. Uh, Elijah, can we put right on the board, the World Broadcast Center, some of the vision there? Yeah. This is important. Mm -hmm. The World Broadcast Center. I want to look right at it and I want to I want to talk through this again. Uh, It's so important. Here we are talking about the World Broadcast Center. When we come into this main auditorium, this is what we've not done construction on yet. We want to get the whole place paid down, and we want to get to this, and we're getting closer with everybody's help. People are being generous. We're getting there. But to do all of this, $1.3 million. That's to get the building paid in full. That's to get all the remodeling happening. That's to get the necessary gear. And we're really looking at this so we can reach the planet. And it's not a massive space, but it's 4,000 square foot studio. This is a 4,000 square foot studio, 20 foot ceilings, and so much more. This is the fireplace room, this fireplace is where studio. We are. This is where we are right now. <laughs> but I'm believing God that people are going to partner with us, join with us and knock this out because I feel an ur- I have an urgency on me that we need to get busy with this mm-hmm. to bring now words to you, to bring now words to this generation. And when you're looking at this, the ceilings are 20 feet high. We're going to put a lot more in here than just this. We're going to have many places to broadcast from, to teach, to do Red Church, all of it, and really bring a now word to everybody. And I got to tell you, we really need your help. Mm-hmm. If you're interested in helping, sewing, standing with us, I hope you'll do it today. I really do. Um, I'm encouraged by how many of you have done what you can do. And look, if you can't do anything, you know we love you. We're here for you. You're here to view. But thank our partners. If you want to partner today, I encourage you to do that by going to josephz.com. You can text the keyword GIVE to 719-259-0029. And please help us with this. Let's get this taken care of. 1.3, we'll have an update for you soon. Um, over the We try to give a monthly update as we're going forward, but I'm believing that we can get this paid off, uh, meaning everything, the LED walls, we're going to be painting all this. It's going to be an amazing You would say this is like a rough draft of what we really want. A very rough draft draft. (laughs) by comparison. But but, um, when it's all finished and said and done, it's going to be wonderful. It really is. We are truly thankful for our partners um, supporting us and helping us do what God has asked us to do. And so... This right here is just one of the many phases we want to do. Yep, it's important. And so, amen. Well, let me look right at you here. You know, another thing is, is um, we have another a few things I want to tell you about right now. One is you want to be on the text to join list. The text to join is the number 719-719-3637. You text that number from your phone. You're not commenting about it, but you text that number from your phone. You write that number into your phone and you text it. And then you get on our text to join list. So you'll get a prompt, you'll know what to do, and you just follow those prompts and it's just a blessing. And then that way, we can send a text out whenever we're live or doing something impromptu, breaking now information or news. And what happens is, is you can get right in, in up to speed with us on what we're, we're doing or something that's happening. Uh, you can be notified instantly. We can take you right to the app, right to the website or whatever platform we're on that's maybe a way to avoid censoring and all that stuff. So that's going to be an important thing as well as I encourage you very much to go ahead and be uh, um, part of our our app. Download the Joseph Z app from your favorite app store. Now, many people say, I try to do text to join, but it doesn't really work uh, when I'm in different nations and all that. Well, that's why we have the app. You download the app and you can get notifications from the app to your phone wherever you are. And of course, we always have the josephz.com website. There's many things there. You can join us there. And I encourage you, if you're a part of YouTube, to subscribe to that and, and go down that avenue with us. And if let me make one more comment about text to join. If that number ever changes, but you are already signed up, it's okay. We will roll you into the new database because we're always upgrading. And if we ever have a new text to join number, it is okay because you'll still get a notification. You'll still get notified. Even if you signed up on an older number like the one we're showing you now, and then later we have a new number, it's going to be fine. So the number you see right now, 
use it. You'll be included in any update later, even if we start sharing a new number. So that's going to be important. So please, if you would, be a part of all this um, at josephz.com. Now, I, I really do hope you'll partner. You know, we call you regularly if you partner. You will hear from our team. They will pray with you. And we're just here to stand with you. And if you can do that, it's such a blessing. We want to welcome you to the family. I hope you'll comment partnering today. If you don't know how to do it, reach out to us at josephz.com. But the information is real simple. It's right there at josephz.com or this text to give at 719-259-0029. Man. And uh, one last thing, let me say this. Uh, Demystifying the Prophetic, we got this and we also have the Demystifying the Prophetic Manual. These are available right now for pre-order, separately for pre-order on josephz.com. Separately, you can buy each one of these uh, individually, or you can just go buy them both at josephz.com for pre-order. And I, man, do I encourage you to do this right now. Get some for friends, get some for family also. A lot of churches can use this for Wednesdays or Bible studies or home groups. The manual we're giving you uh, or, or making available for you, pro- providing for you. And this book, man, I'll tell you what, you could get a lot out of this. It could last a while if you wanted it to. This will bless you. I encourage you to check it out right now, right now. And I encourage you to partner right now. Jesus is Lord. I bless you. I speak peace over you. I speak strength over you. The word of the Lord, that it would run swiftly and be glorified in your life and in your mind, in your family. Listen to me on a bad day. You're anointed to be the very best there is. And because you have Jesus in you, have revelation, and a man or woman like you with a revelation is not at the mercy of a culture gone mad. It is your time to rise and shine. And I'm going to be here for you through it all in Jesus' name. Be praying for us. We have a big, big assignment in front of us the next several weeks, and we need your support. We really do need your prayer coverage. We need your financial support. We need your partnership. And it matters so much. I believe you're sending me on a mission, a mission as a prophetic act and a sign in this generation. I'm going to be standing on the actual Noah's Ark, the one from Genesis, the actual physical Noah's Ark, not the one in Kentucky, the one in Turkey that they've discovered years and years ago, but it's being rediscovered. And I am a thousand percent convinced it's Noah's Ark. I'll be sharing more with you. We're going to bring you back video of it and a lot of stuff. We'll probably do a week on it for you when we get back. And I'm looking forward to that. So Jesus is Lord. I'll be going live as much as I can there, but please stay with us. we get got a lot to give you. And please right now, watch this. In today's world, there's a lot of noise and sensationalism by many claiming to hear the voice of God. They cite their predictions and their own experiences. Now, some are legitimate and some are not, but how do we know the difference? In some ways, prophecies become a mystified topic. Yet as global chaos is obviously increasing, it is imperative that we must hear and know the voice of God and true prophecy. I'm Joseph Z, and I just wrote this book, Demystifying the Prophetic. Now, it's taken me my whole life of walking through the Word of God and my own encounters and experiences to bring this to a place where we land at biblical truth and sound doctrine, yet absolutely celebrating the precious gift of prophecy. In this book, I deal with everything from trances and dreams, visions, deja vu even, different types of prophets, we talk about it. We even cover the topic of false prophets. How do you determine who's true and who's false? We talk about discerning the times, navigating strange encounters. People talk about angels appearing to them, entities appearing to them, they hear voices. All of these unique things we begin to deal with at a very powerful level with this book. I bring you straight to the written word of God. And I want to say to you, isn't it time we understand the purpose of prophecy? After all, it is the spirit of prophecy that gives testimony to Jesus. It's time for results in your life. It's time for you to begin demystifying the prophetic. This book will help you. I promise you need this book. It'll break you out of containment. It'll bring you into a place of clarity and it will open up the understanding of the voice of God and prophecy functioning in your life by the written word of God. This is going to really help you. I encourage you to get your copy today by going to josephz.com.
I want to say a very special thank you to our partners. Whether you've been a partner with us from the very beginning or if you've recently become part of our partner family, we simply want to say thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you because it means so much that you're standing with us. We're accomplishing a lot together. And I'll tell you, if you're interested in becoming part of our partner family, I'd encourage you to go to josephz.com or text the keyword GIVE to 719-259-0029. You know, we want to welcome you to the family and we will be calling you. If you become a partner, we call you regularly and we love talking to you. Our team calls you. It's not a call center. It's our team. We love our partners. I hope you'll consider it. I hope you're praying about it. And I hope you become a part of our partner family today.